Hi guys, Sean here from StudyClix, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Theorem 13. So this theorem states that if two triangles are similar, then their sides are proportional in order. So first of all, we're just going to define what's meant by similarity. So two triangles are similar if they've got the same angles. And now, just note here that this doesn't uh, mean that they have the same side lengths necessarily, they just have to have the same angles. And just in case you get mixed up between similarity and congruency, Congruency is when two triangles are identical in every way, including side lengths, and similarity is just when they have the same angles. So you could say that uh, if a tri two triangles are congruent, they're definitely similar, but if, if they're similar, they're not necessarily congruent, and in fact, most of the time they won't be. So with that out of the way now, let's just jump into an example. So as you can see, we have two triangles here, and they have the same angles. And note that the orientation here isn't the same, so... A uh, triangle here on the left is actually got 45 degrees in the bottom right corner and our triangle on the right has 45 degrees at the top. Uh, but that makes no difference to what this theorem means, which is to do with the sides. So essentially, when we have two similar triangles, um, let's say we take the length of one side and increase it, the other side lengths in the other similar triangle will increase or decrease proportionally to how we change uh, the first side uh, to compare it to the second triangle. So. In this case here, you can see that in between 65 degrees and 70 degrees, we have this side length 12. And this corresponds to the side length 6 in the second triangle because uh, this is positioned once again between 65 degrees and 70 degrees. And so what we can say is that the other side lengths will essentially change proportionately. So the fact that uh, 12 is equal to 2 times 6 means that the ratio here between our side lengths is going to be 2 is to 1. So the fact that we have 12 on the left in the left triangle and 6 on the right uh, means that our other sides are going to change by the same proportionate amount, which means that we just need to divide 20 by 2 and 18 by 2 to get our two side lengths. So here on the left we have 20 over 2, which is just equal to 10. And on the right we have 18 over 2 which is just equal to 9, which means that essentially what we've done here is because our similar triangles uh, have one side which is half the length in the second triangle as the first, every other side is also half the length as it was in the first because once again these triangles are similar. So that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.